evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The condolences of President Armen Akabramian on the death of General Asfat Atur Petrosyan. Conference on President Woodrow Wilson's arbitral award 100 years later in Western Armenia. France is again trying to have its influence on the Nagorno-Karabakh issue, Le Monde. The director of the carpet company regrets that neither the carpets nor the people of Sushi could protect each other. The ruins of the port belonging to the Ararat Kingdom appeared after the decline of Lake Van. Sebatin Gyok tried to sell the most famous Catholic church in Constantinople. Today is the birthday of Monte Melkonian. On November 24, Major General Astvat Zatur Avetik Petrosyan, former Deputy Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia, founding Vice Chairman of the Union of Yegrapov Volunteers, Commander-in-Chief of the Eagle Suicide Squad, Chairman of the Eagle Suicide Squad non-governmental organization, passed away of a serious illness. President of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, expresses his condolences on behalf of Western Armenia to the General's family, relatives and comrades in arms. Rest in peace, devoted son of the homeland. The Yerevan representation of the Republic of Western Armenia organized a conference entitled President Woodrow Wilson's Arbitral Award 100 years later and Western Armenia, which took place on November 21. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, and the Speaker of the National Assembly, Leonardo Basmajan, made reports at the conference. The First World War ended on the Eastern Front when the government of the Ottoman Empire requested an armistice on October 29, 1918. The next day, the armistice of mudras was signed between the Ottoman Empire and Great Britain on behalf of Allied powers in order that the Treaty of Peace might be concluded. The armistice of mudras includes two important articles concerning Armenia and Armenians. Article 11. Immediate withdrawal of Turkish troops from northwest Persia to behind the pre-war frontier has already been ordered and will be carried out. Part of Transcaucasia has already been ordered to be evacuated by Turkish troops. The remainder to be evacuated if required by the Allies after they have studied the situation there. Article 24. In case of disorder in the six Armenian villages, the Allies reserve to themselves the right to occupy any part of them. On January 19, 1919, an international meeting started in Versailles with the goal of putting an end to all wars and spreading peace around the world. A total of 32 countries and nationalities participated in the meeting. On February 12, 1919, two Armenian delegations arrived in Versailles. A delegation representing mountainous Armenia was headed by Avedis Aharonyan, while Boros Nubar Pasha was representing Western Armenians. The pair presented their demands for Western Armenia to encompass territory from the Mediterranean to the Black Sea, Javakh, Artsakh, and Nahijevan. Upon hearing the Armenian demands, the head of the Great Britain's delegation, Mr. Lloyd George, told the Armenian delegation that there were not enough Armenians to fill the demanded land. On June 28, 1919, the Covenant of the League of the Nations was signed as part of one of the Treaty of Versailles. You can read the full article on our official website. France is again trying to influence the Nagorno-Karabakh issue. This article was published by the Le Monde journalist Piotr Smolyar. The article mentions after 25 years of unsuccessful diplomacy in late September, the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict suddenly erupted. After six weeks of clashes between Armenians and Azeris, Yerevan was forced to surrender. A ceasefire was signed on November 9 under the auspices of Russia. The weapons were silenced, but nothing was resolved. The diplomats resumed their work restoring the same field formed in Minsk, Group. Paris emphasizes that the trilateral agreement does not contribute to the settlement of the Nagorno Karabakh conflict. France, which has been condemning Ankara's violent attacks in various crisis zones for months, cannot positively assess the idea considering other resolutions to control the ceasefire. The full article is available at the following link. This is how the director of Karabakh Corporate Company, Seva Kachadran, expressed his concern. We did not manage to take anything out of Sushi. Nobody imagined such development. All the Armenians of Artsakh and all Armenians had always considered Sushi as one of the safest places in Artsakh. Thousands of people left their apartments and companies. Everything remained in Sushi. The company also has workshops in Stepanakert and Jartar. At this moment, the work is paralyzed. Artsakh carpets for sale in Yerevan are especially in demand these days. This is not just a financial loss. We lose our history and culture, Seva Khachetran emphasizes. Karabakh Carpet Company was engaged in preserving the traditional Armenian cultural heritage and passing it on to future generations. 
The water level of Lake Van Western Armenia has dropped significantly as a result of which some historical and natural buildings have appeared in Artash province in recent years. Following the retreat of the lake, some ruins were found in the area where the waters of the Delichai River flow into the Lake Van. It turns out that the ruins found in the area that served as a part during the Arad Kingdom date back to about 2750 years. Armenians built various ports, one of these ports is known as Delichai Port. In Turkey, Seba Hatun Gyok tried to sell the most famous Catholic church in Constantinople, St. Antoine, to foreigners through false documents. According to the source, the name of Seba Hatun Gyok, who tried to sell St. Antoine in the Beyoğlu district of Constantinople, is mentioned in 34 different investigations. The publication mentions that Gyok visited the USA, France, Italy and other countries, found the heirs of the property owners of the church and tried to sell them the church. Sepahatin Gyok was arrested. It should be noted that the Church of Saint Antoine was founded in the early 18th century by the Italian community of Constantinople. However, the church has stood for only 180 years. It was demolished in 1904 because it was interfered with tramway rails. Then another land was provided where the current Saint Antoine was built in 1906. Monte Melkunian was born on November 25, 1957 in California to an Armenian family that survived the genocide against Armenians and settled in the United States. At the age of 20, he studied at the Berkeley University in California and graduated with a double title. While studying at the university, he established the Armenian Student Union. In 1978, he entered Oxford University but did not finish, went to Lebanon during the Civil War and took part in the defensive battles of the Armenian quarter of Beirut. He was the leader of an offshoot of the Armenian Secret Army for the liberation of Armenia in the 1980s and the most celebrated commander during the Nagorno-Karabakh War in the early 1990s. He was arrested in Paris in November 1985 and sentenced to six years in prison for possession of falsified papers and carrying illegal handgun. On February 4, 1992, Melkunian arrived in Martuni as the regional commander. Upon his arrival, the changes were immediately felt. Civilians started feeling more secure and at peace as Azerbaijani armies were pushed back and were finding it increasingly difficult to shell Martuni's residential areas. The Monte Melkunian Foundation was established in Yerevan in 1990. 94. Montemelconia Military College was named after him. His monument is located in Martuni, Nagorno Karabakh. Monte was killed in the abandoned Azerbaijani village of Merzili in the early afternoon of June 12, 1993, during the Battle of Akdam. He was buried at Yerabulur Cemetery in Yerevan. Now let us represent your attention a song by Mahitar Ketsyan. Sirem Gortu Duan Tir Gorge Izures Medano Insnitz Martanke You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.